Papo. Hello, my Scorpio friends. It's Guiding Halo here. Let's see what's coming in for you, your spirit oracle message for the second week of October, the 7th to, that's too many, the 7th to the 14th. Scorpio friends, 7th to the 14th. Huron, patience. Create a place in nature's stillness and be renewed. Take time alone to find balance. Step confidently towards your purpose. Patience will bring you massive rewards. So this is telling me that you want to move forward with something. You want to go ahead, bring it into, into being, bring it into the 3D. And it has been created already in the angelic realms or in the realm of spirit. So, but there is some sort of patience. It's like your desires need to line up with those of spirits and spirits timetable may be a wee bit different than yours. Create a place in nature stillness and be renewed, really getting in touch with nature. Some of you might love the water. You might love flying. You might love to just feel like your, your soul is soaring. And maybe that's what you're waiting for is for a rebirth of energy where you can feel like you're soaring into absolute new potential. You may feel like there's something very destined going on right now or that something is your destiny. You may feel that way. And the divine doesn't say you're wrong. They're absolutely saying you're correct. But we have to put things in place down here before something can come about for you. The phoenix. What did I say about this? Rising from the ashes. The phoenix. Resurrection. Surrender to change. It's a brand new beginning. It's you coming into concert with what is your soul purpose. We have the, uh, an 11. Two, nine, 2 plus 9 is 11. It brings you to a place of shaking off the old, renewing yourself, rising from the ashes of whatever's happened to you in the past. It's about being fiery, passionate. It's about setting your intentions in a beautiful way. And you will rise, but right now the divine is asking you to be patient. Perhaps some of you are healing, and the healing needs to occur within before you can move forward. The phoenix appears as your ally to celebrate your journey and to ensure your ultimate success. This is true even if it appears that you've just passed through a metamorphical experience of death or are currently enduring a perception of failure in your life. Death and rebirth are related. When you enter the realm of the phoenix, seen in this light, nothing truly dies, but rather changes from one ending directly into new beginnings. The phoenix is constantly reinventing itself and rises up whole and new and even more powerful with every death it experiences. This could signal the end of a relationship or of a dynamic within one or an end of a job, a project, or even life. Perhaps no failure is involved, but it's time for a complete overhaul of your circumstances. You may be tired of what you're doing, or you may know intuitively that it's time to move on and try something new. Whatever the case, a death of the old and a celebration of new life are called for. Whatever you do now will indeed be a successful endeavor, for a rebirth is absolutely imminent. So the divine has got you on the trajectory for a rebirth coming in here very soon. Something that is really going to light your life up. A change, a massive change, but they want you to surrender to the change and be patient for it to come in. We have gentleness. Strength is gentle. True kindness has wings. Love in action endures. Perhaps there's some sort of where you want to put your energy forward in love. Maybe you're feeling a little bit challenged by outside circumstances, things not going right. You could be dealing with technology, people, persons, place, person, places, things where they knock on your door in the middle of circumstances and it's just frustrating. There's definitely a need to be gentle and kind. Perhaps that person that's on the other side of the door is coming here to be part of this change moving forward. Metamorphosis, massive transformation in your life. Trust the process and be patient. Becoming cannot be rushed. 
change is beautiful. And there comes my kitty Freya to confirm the whole thing for you as she comes in and meow, meow, meow. Hi, pretty girl. You gonna lay down and have a nap? Maybe that's what you all need to do is just lay down and get more sleep, have a nap, take a rest, take a break. I don't know, maybe even working so hard on closing out one cycle and stepping into a new one. The land between. So you are in the in between right now. You're in a place of not knowing, you know, which way the next road that's going to happen. See, everybody is on this island up here or has this in between energy between one thing and the new. And you are going to rise beautifully, but there is a beauty with being in the in between. This is where you hear from your ancestors. This is where you can build a solid foundation. This is where you get the keys and the answers to the things that you've been asking about. Asking the divine for this receptive energy, asking the divine for the road to move forward, which is the best way to go. Maybe some of you are cutting ties and leaving your roots behind. Maybe you're moving into a whole new sector. It's like an absolute uh, paradigm shift, transformation amongst all types of transformation for you. And you may very well feel the in-between is your new home right now. It's not, I promise you. It's just a stationary landing period. So allow the divine to bring something your way. Allow for patience. Allow for rest. Oh, look at this, and I got this paradigm shift again. How beautiful is this energy? Everything's shifting. It's like you're going into a completely different um, level of understanding, level of being, something to do with mercury in your chart and how the air flows around you, how you think, how you be. Therefore, you also, you know, shall act. It's therefore, you also shall put yourself into the world. So there's something to do with maybe even a change of mind. Maybe there's some sort of gentleness that needs to happen. And while well, we talked about the patience already, but you're already building a foundation with this new paradigm shift. I want to say I don't know that some of you feel that's coming yet. I feel like there's agitation. I feel like there's listlessness. I feel like there's there's energy of when will I just be able to get through it, move forward, move past, move beyond. When will I be able to this, that, the other? The dreams I'm trying to reach for. All of these questions are happening. The divine needs you to stop asking the questions and allow the path forward to open to you. It's not as hard as it needs to be. It's not as hard as you're, you're thinking it is. Let's read that card because it's beautiful. It's also another four. Right? Card number 13. All right. Air. Paradigm shift. An innovating way of existing. New earth en energies. Inspiring others. Fresh air. Flying higher than you have before. More expansive perspective. Consciousness shift. This is exactly what you're going through right now. A conscious shift as to how it is you have built, built uh, okay, maybe even soulmate energy. Perhaps it's how you have viewed soulmate energy in the past. I just got told to pull the first card off the deck for you. So that's what I'm going to do. There's, see the, the colors that are in the circle on the deck, see? And then the colors that are in the card almost match perfectly. All, all with this green and the purple is beautiful. Beautiful energy is all coming together for you. Absolutely. Dearest wonderful you, to help you maintain, manifest the life for your highest good, we invite you to examine your deepest desires. Imagine all your desires, no matter what kind, like magic seed pods in a basket, glowing with infinite potential. Look closely at each one. Are you afraid that some may bring you too much attention and invite negative reactions from others? Is change too daunting? Are you afraid to stretch and grow? Let yourself be led forward and let the seeds of positive intention take to the wind. Your desires count and you are worthy of them. They are essential for co-creating your world. Did you ever consider that when a desire comes from deep within you, it might be spirit moving you to create something beautiful to share with others? Some desires are infused with miraculous powers to move the heart and influence the world in ways you can't possibly know. We know you and love you so deeply and are so happy to support you. I hope you guys have a beautiful week and that this helps in some way, shape, or form. I love you. Blessings.